crafty friends today i'm sharing some cards i made using one of the stamp sets from the not too shabby uh, january box of the month for 2023 for my first card i'm going to work on the shaker element i'm making and i'm using a stamp set that came with a stamps of life kit i wanted a circular element that will fit into the shaker and so here's my oval cut pieces and I'm using a die set. Um, I think it's from uh, Pretty Pink Posh and I'm going to stamp that Be Mine sentiment into the center of my oval piece, which will be the backer for my shaker element. With the VersaFine Claire ink, I find that you get a really nice stamping impression if you let the ink or your stamp sit on top of the paper for a little bit longer. I'm just rubbing out the uh, circular shape I made so I had a bit of an idea of where to place the stamp. These are some Queen & Co shaker pieces that I'm going to put into my um, shaker element and you can see there I've gone ahead and popped on some foam uh, tape and just remove those, trying really hard not to get the shaker hearts onto the foam and have to unstick them. And once that's done, I will add a little glue to the uh, foam tape just to be certain that it will stick. Now I'm lining up the uh, opening of the shaker element with that circle and as you can see, I need to trim a little bit of paper off, which is not a problem. And then I can get the base for my shaker ready. So I've pulled out some paper from a Stamps of Life kit. I just really like the colours in this paper. And you can see it's got lots of pretty little hearts all over it. And once I'm happy with the alignment, of the paper, I'll um, give it a good press down to make I've got make sure I've got good um, coverage with the glue. I've then die cut a fishtail banner, and this is using a banner set from Pink and Main, and I'm placing that in the center of my card. And again, just making sure it's lined up with the edges. Then I've taken one of the smaller banners and I've embossed it with this Candy Hearts um, embossing folder from Tailored Expressions. And do like to make sure I've got plenty of glue onto embossed pieces just so you can make sure you've got good contact um, over the surface of the embossed area. And here's a little bunny that I coloured in from the stamp set. And once I'd coloured it in, I also brought in some Nuvo drops and um, or the glitter drops in aquatic mist. It's a really pretty aqua colour. And I've got my bunny and it's going to sit over top of my shaker element. And you can see there's stamping on the back of that shaker piece. And that's because I didn't want to waste any paper. So I can stamp on the other side and make sure the paper is used. Now, trying to make sure I've got the shaker piece level. Uh, I didn't want it sitting on there crooked and then not being able to do anything about it later. So for my bunny, I have placed glue on the left-hand side and some foam tape on the other side of the bunny that um, is sticking out over top of the banners. I've taken three hearts that I've cut from a pearlized silver cardstock, the blue and a pink to match in with the hearts on the paper. I'm just going to position those and try and get a nice shape so that they match the angle of that fishtail banner. And then I can just use my tweezers to tap down in place and make any adjustments before the glue has dried. So I thought I was finished with the card and then I decided, no, I wanted a little bit more sparkle. 
So I've come in with a sparkle pen. This one's from scrapbook.com. And I'm going to go over my hearts. I did find the pearlized silver paper was quite resistant to wanting to have the uh, sparkle pen on there. And once that's dry, I'll come in with a um, glaze of gloss or gloss of glaze <laughs> uh, by Pink and Main. And I do really like this product. It's not as thick as um, glossy accents. Um, but it still gives you that nice varnished shiny look now to match in with the glazed heart I'm going to go around the pattern paper and I'm just going to randomly pick some of the hearts to accent with the gloss and there you go touch of gloss is what it's called and there's my card finished and you'll get to see it um, once the gloss is properly dried at the end of the video. Very cute, I think. For my second card, again, I'm using a piece of pattern paper from the same paper pad, which is a Stamps of Life. And it's got a nice silvery gray uh, background panel. I am going to make use of um, one of the uh, shaker elements that I had die cut from the previous card because I wasn't quite sure what color I was going to use. And this piece, or the actual die set when it cuts, cuts out the circle in the middle, the oval shape, and then a very fine border around the outside of the oval. So I'm going to use pink colored outline to go around the outside edge of um, my die cut. Then I've taken a strip of white cardstock and I've taken the hearts from this Spellbinder set and I've laid them over top of my uh, white cardstock and run them through my die cutting machine a couple times so I can get that nice pierced heart pattern onto um, the cardstock for some texture and as a design element. Okay, so that went on to the left side. Here's the little truck stamp that I have stamped out and coloured in. Um, I haven't put in any of the colouring. Um, it does take quite a while to do, but if it's something you'd like to um, see me do, just let me know in the comments. So my car is being stuck over top of the white pierced paper as well as the silver die cut. And I've placed the truck so that it overlaps where the um, circular shape would have been cut out. Um, there's glue on the left side of the truck and then some foam tape on the right side to keep it popped up. I've brought in some of these little crystal clear heart shapes and I believe they're from Trinity Stamps. I've chosen these elements because I'm going to use a touch of gloss um, on a couple of the hearts in the truck. And I've also used the gloss to go over the two little brake lights on the back. So it just can, gives a continuation of that um, glossy finish on the card. Uh, and then I think I'm finished. And I've chosen that style because I feel like it's more a masculine um, card um, with the little truck and so here's the final look at both of my cards and there's my little shaker and you can see the gloss um, touch of gloss has dried nicely and here is my second card with the gloss all dried and I think they both turned out quite nice um, and the stamp sets from not too shabby stamp beautifully so while we have one last look at both of the cards, I'd like to say thank you for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye for now.